intuitive survival. Today I'm going to be making a one stick fire. Stay tuned. Alright, as you can see I've already split the first split it into four already. So now I'm just gonna split the rest of it. And the the object of the one stick fire is to get everything. Tender or kindling scrapings from one stick. I know it looks like four, but I just split one into four. So I'm going to go ahead and split this one down, use the fire pit later. I'm going to be using my Bear Grylls knife with the back of my hatchet to pound it in. I only had the Bear Grylls one because a few years ago, before I actually knew anything about knives, I thought that this knife here was the best thing in the world. And then I used it. And uh, then I learned about knives. Now it's just the splitting wedge I use. It's great for batoning. It's lightweight. And uh, that's all it does now is baton. And if that's all you're going to use it for, it'll work. It's wide enough to be used as a small stick splitting wedge. So works great for all those pesky four inch sticks that you can't split with your Mora or a thin knife. Oh well, you probably could. I've done it before, but if you don't want to risk putting any injury on the standy blade then you can use a splitting knife like this. Even use a use a Becker BK2 or any sort of big knife if you want. You know, but it's just a great great way to repurpose old knives. Old larger knives that is. And bright side you don't have to spend those hours repairing nicks or rolls in the edge of your bush knife, the bush crafting knife. So oh boy. So it works pretty well. Alright as you can see I've got my feather sticks kindling, all my scrapings made with the spine of my knife, and I've got the rest of them, they may look a little big, but hopefully this works a little bit better. Alright, so it's not working right, okay. I hope it's dry enough. I really do. Sometimes the wood I have just doesn't catch. I think I got it going now.
Gotta go careful about this, or at least until it gets going. I'm using a hardwood for this. Some guy said he needed all cut down a tree, and they needed it all towed away. It's all hardwood, so I said I would take it. But it was very wet. I mean, it was soaked because it had just melted three feet of snow, and so. This was all laying on the ground before the snow, so they took it, or so, so when I took it, it was soaking wet. And to top it all off, it was laying in the mud there and everything, and it was just, I think it's dried out now, so I get to use it. So there you go, folks. A sustainable one-stick fire. I know, it looks pretty good, huh? Alright. This is Woodsman Croman with Intuitive Survival. Alright, so there it is. A one stick fire in all its completeness. Save that one backlog, but cooking some soup. It's chicken with white and wild rice and a Yugoslavia mess kit. Yep. Wind's blowing right at me, so <laughs> I am going to add more fuel on this, probably if it doesn't cook the soup in time. But if it does, then I'll just let it burn out. Oh, it's gonna have a fire! All right, signing out. Well, probably not, but this was Woodsman Crumble with Intuitive Survival. See ya.